Welcome. We're here today to talk through the supplier area of the Confex website. There's lots of information here, there's lots of ways you can interact with us and make sure that the administration side of um, your dealings with Confex are up to date from a member's perspective. The members are more and more now using our member area, so the supplier area is to help you interact with Confex and our members. So I'm on the homepage of confex.ltd.uk and I'm going to go to the right hand top corner and I'm going to go to supplier login. Now you will have a username and password available to you via Confex. If you'd like confirmation of this, do phone the Confex office and we will um, update you on that. So I'm now going to log in as a supplier and it takes you to the supplier area. So from left to right, Trade Denter Entry is when we ask you for your quarterly figures broken down by member so that these are then reported to individual members and they can know where they are and how they're performing and they're targeted according to your terms uh, for growth within the group. So I'm going to click here to start entering a new batch of figures and then there are various notes but basically what am I entering? We ask for quarterly cumulative figures, sterling and or volume. So I'm going to do year 2018, quarter one, and I'm gonna then trick the, click the bot drop down to find which member I want to enter, Eastern, and then add in the trade total. And add. So then I've got one, I know what it is, and I I uh, go and enter them and keep entering all of them and then I will submit when I'm um, happy with them all and they will be submitted to head office. And then your turnover figures will be reported to Maggie internally and she'll get back to you and put them in our system and if there are any queries or anything missing or anything she thinks isn't correct she'll get back to you um, and, uh, and sort it out that way. So enter further figures, there's an option to do that. Um, I think it's all quite self-explanatory, but any other issues or um, queries do point towards Maggie White at Confex head office. So back to the supplier home now. And then I'm gonna look at the old brochures. So we have all of the old uh, promotional brochures for Confex for the last couple of years um, that are available to you. Uh, when the Confex um, promotional period ends, so only historical promotions, nothing live. And there's a Christmas brochure there as well at the bottom. So I'm going to now look at the Super Saver in 2017. There are 16 periods, but let me have a look at P2. So what happened in the Super Saver 2017 P2? And there we are, there's your brochure in a PDF format. You can check all of the promotions and right click and save if you wish. I'm gonna close that down now and go back to supplier home. Useful documents, this is a really, really good resource. Um, so it's all of blank documents for use when you're um, doing your promotional schedule. So the promotional schedule is um, your overview of promotions for the year, if you've got an idea what you might be promoting during the year. Really good to fill in. The members love seeing promotions and the schedule and the plans ahead of time. But also it tells us at head office that you plan to promote, say, a certain SKU or product category within those periods. And it acts as a reminder for us to then let you know um, what's going on. And then we can... Um, remind you to fill in the actual promotional form ahead of the promotion. So it's a good way for us to remind you as well. So the catering promotional schedule, the retail promotional schedule, the rate card of costs for promotions, supplier day presentation. This is when we had our supplier day earlier in the year, um, which is all about that. AA 2018, advertising allowances, etc. Confex promotional form, the standard promotional form. So whenever you need to promote with us, you would need to fill this in by period. 
um, all the various boxes looks complicated if you have any queries at all do contact Sarah Edgerton at head office and she can help you fill it out and get to know it but it also acts as an order form and a claim form as well so um, it has various different uses and close that down um, and then there is also um, a supplier price list template now this is a really good one um, this is the standard um, price list template for dealing with Confex and its members and it's what our members tell us is the ideal price list so if you're able to um, fill this in all this information here is what our members tell us um, in a perfect world we would have all that information available and again going back to supplier home and I'm going to now go to the image bank now from a members perspective the image bank is the number one thing they use when they log in it's ahead of price list promotions um, anything else the image bank is what they use the most so this is the most important for you as a supplier to keep up to date if pack changes if price mark packs change do let us know it's your responsibility to log in here as much as possible see your image bank what the members are seeing and keep it updated um, you can't actually edit